All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Auto AGL mod, which is being made by form user Snark. And this is, I do believe, the very first mod to be released for the new version 1.7 of Kerbal Space Program, and that's pretty exciting, as it looks to take advantage of a new altimeter feature that we do have in the game. So if we just load up this auto AGL ship here. Now, the new feature in question is the ability to switch between reading your altimeter here at sea level or ground level. And what this mod looks to do is make it so rather than you having to manually switch between these things, it will automatically do it when the situation calls for it, or at least when the situation calls for it within the confines of the mod. And it's actually a pretty useful feature, perhaps not the most useful thing in the world, but I find it quite interesting. Now, what exactly are those various instances when this will switch? Well, it pretty much will do it under three different circumstances. It will basically set the altimeter to uh, the altitude above sea level when either you're landed or splashed down in the actual, you know, sea. Probably important. It will then also switch to altitude above ground level when you're low or close to the ground, which may mean plummeting plummeting to the ground. If you're within, I think it's uh, 10 seconds of uh, being in the atmosphere to being dead on the ground, it'll, um, it'll switch. Probably a good thing to know. And then finally, it will switch also back to a sea level when you're really, really high up. Because, I mean, well, what's the point of measuring it from ground level when you're in orbit? So, the yeah, sea level seems a lot more important. But the mod does not take away your ability to automatically switch between these things. It will leave it at whatever you set it to, and then wait to change it again when it does reach one of those circumstances, which is pretty handy. So let's actually show it off a bit here. Now, we have it at uh, ground level right now because I just told it to be there. And if we uh, land our ship in the ocean real quick, you guys will be able to see it switching to the sea level. Uh, I believe if we do that and then 20, that should be good. Let's land. Turn on our SAS as well. And we're still ground level because I told it to be, even though we are imminently plummeting very slowly to our demise in the ocean. And once we do actually hit the ocean here, it will automatically change. I'll keep my mouse away from the top. There we go. It switched over to our altitude at sea level. Now, if we close these down because we no longer need them and fire, we have now launched into the air. So it's changed from the altitude to ground level but because we got pretty high up pretty quickly, thanks to, you know, solid rocket boosters, it then switched back to sea level because we hit at altitude. Now, once we start plummeting back down to terra firma, once we're within that uh, range that I mentioned earlier of 10 seconds to impact in free fall, it will switch us once again to ground level, which... Huh, maybe I put a little bit too much fuel in there. I put it at 150, thinking, well, we don't need to go so high, but it should, should figure it out soon enough, which will be good. So let's just wait a few seconds as we plummet. And I believe it was around 3,000 in my testing when it switched over, but we'll see here in a moment. And almost to 3,000. Almost. Was I correct in remembering? No, I was not. No, I was not. But it should activate. There it goes. And let's unleash our things and our parachute to slow us down so we don't die. But it did automatically switch as we were plummeting to the surface. And now, as we slowly make our way back down to the water, eventually it will switch back to sea level once we splash down and 
that's really it for the mod. Not a whole lot to go over, but, you know, kind of a cool, useful feature. Instead of you having to manually switch between things, it will just assume certain instances are when you want to have it at sea level, and certain instances are when you want to have it being measured at ground level. And... You can adjust those things. I think we may actually survive if I cut this. Let's just hurry this along. And... So, no, we're dead. Yeah, since we died, it didn't switch back to sea level. Had we landed, we'd have been fine. But I was trying to speed things along to head back to the ma main menu where we can actually look at some settings so you can adjust how it does make the switch. And oh boy, 1.7, it really takes a long time to load the menus, I find now. But if we go into a new game and head to difficulty options, we have the auto AGL button here, and we can turn it off if you so desire to not have it on at all. And then the first one we have here is which preference you want it to be at when you're landed or splashed down. By default, it will be at sea level, but if you'd like, you could make it so that it registers at ground level when you're landed or splashed down. Now, we also have that collision threshold that I told you about, where you're uh, 10 seconds within atmosphere from dying a horrible death, and you can adjust that down to disabled and all the way up to 120 seconds. The default is at 10. We also have another one of these for if you're in vacuum and you're 30 seconds from a horrible, terrifying death on the ground, then it'll also switch over. But we can adjust that as well, down to disabled and up to 120 seconds, but it's at 30 seconds by default. And I forgot to mention, we also have the parachute altitude multiplier, which is probably why my adjustment was off earlier, but also probably because I didn't pay enough attention. And this basically will make it so that whichever is the uh, highest tolerance parachute that you have altitude-wise, it will multiply that times two before it needs to switch. So it will give you a bit more leeway into when it will switch to ground level until basically, as you can see here, below parachute open altitude. So yes, you can switch that to disabled and all the way up to 5x. And uh, yeah, that is it for the auto AGL mod. It's a pretty fun little thing. Again, perhaps not the most useful. You may like just manually switching between the two, but for me, I actually find it quite a nice, handy little tool. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.